what's up guys today we're going to be making a chain let's go to workbenches and click part not path design part and let's click this shape that looks like a donut now you'll see this looks like a donut or a ring let's double click on this donut shape we'll go to the radius 2 let's go one millimeter Let's go to U perimeter and set it to 180, so half of it. Let's click OK. Let's right click on this half donut shape and click copy. Right click again on it and then paste. As you can see here, nothing happened because th these two half donut shapes are in the same place so it looks like the other one's gone not there but in reality it's also the angle it is once we turn this into 180 it'll look like a perf a full donut or a circle let's go to position and set the Y level minus hmm, 15. After you've done that, let's click create a cylinder. You'll see there's a cylinder here. So let's double click on cylinder. Set the radius to one millimeter because from here to here, I want it to be same from here to here. Let's go to angle. It's set to 180. Now let's go to its X position and make it 10 millimeters. Let's set the Y angle minus 1. As you can see here, this cylinder is not reaching here. Because we haven't set the height to 15 millimeters since we made this from this 15 millimeters away. Let's click OK. Let's go right click this, copy, right click the same object, and then paste. As you can see on here, nothing happened just because this is in the same place. Let's go to its X position and make it 10. After you've done that, let's click OK. Let's click CTRL on your keyboard and click all these. Left click all of these. Go to here. And I don't know what this says. Just click on the one that looks like it's merging. It's a part fuse. It says on the bottom. Now it says you made a fusion. This, this, these parts here, this, 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 was originally not together. By doing this, all these are connected. Just like if you make a pad inside a part and put another piece. Just like that in part design. How do you do that? Let's right click on this. Copy. And you will see this will come up. If you're on the older version, something else will come up. I think. So, if yours looks like this, click OK. If it asks you, do you want all the shapes in here to be copied just click yes then go back on the shape and click paste as again nothing has happened just because this is in the same place as this let's go to front view go to this let's set it like this don't click on that set it like this so it looks like that looks like an X 
to go to left view as you can see here this is like something like this let's measure it because I want this to be going out one nope one let's set it like till all the way here when this is equal one two three four five so five basically moving in here just count it if you, if you know what i'm talking about and just count it all till it reach like this what i'm talking about the right is like this this is equal to that so let's make it one two three four five yeah like that now you'll have two parts of the chain let's say if you want to make more let's click ctrl left click all of them and then right click on both and let's click we want to copy it just to double check let's copy it okay and then paste as you can see here again it's not it's in the same place let's rotate this to there you can look from the right view one two three four five Actually, I did it wrong. So you have to align this to that. I get one, one, two, three, four, five. There. Then I'll have that. Let's go to that one. Let's go to its left. Actually, there. Front doesn't matter. And set the angle to be here since there's a new one here let's align these back up one two three four five and you have made your chain when you're sending it to the printer make sure it's printing like this because if this is a big bit like to the side like this floating it could cause some printing issues because it's gonna print on air so just follow me so thank you guys for watching and see you in the next video see ya